Well, I mean, I probably don't, I don't think of all of those things as necessarily such discrete disciplines. Um, I'm also, I mean, I'm more interested in culture and, you know, magazines, uh, music, art, and all of that more than any one specific discipline. So, I mean, you know, I just kind of look at the world as kind of one thing and how I'm influenced really uh, comes from everything. It's not just from fashion or architecture, it's also from food and travel and, you know, I don't know, movies, you know, Hunger Games. I don't, I think by accident. Um, <clears throat> I don't think, I think that, I think that my mother just liked it. I don't think she set out to necessarily, um, and it was certainly like a lot of, there was a lot of postmodern furniture that was so, some salsa and Maria Bota. I didn't know it at the time. It's only like in reflection now that I'm like, why did we have that? Like, where did you find that? <laughs> um, but, the juicer um, was just a, a moment of self-consciousness for me, or, or self-awareness, where like I loved the form of it, I loved the shape, and I realized that you know juicers are just—it was just the glass thing, right? That you squeeze the orange on, and this looked totally different, and I just thought. It was the first time I became aware that something utilitarian can privilege a look or a form, uh, not over function, but be equal to function.